You get away from oh, the mic. That's right, that's right, that's right. Whenever you all are ready, we can rock. What's going on, everybody? WNSB Hot 91, the soul of BA. I'm standing up comedian Sir Rock Fox. And look, this is different. I'll never start the show, but I got a reason why. I'm with my boy. Why are you making that face? I don't know. I felt <laughs> I felt weird. I was literally about to start talking, and then he started. I'm like, I'm gonna introduce you last. <laughs> we got we got the best producer in the world, Cam yo, Golly. Yo, 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 What's yo, going yo. on? And we got Mrs. Gavin in the building. How you doing? I'm okay. <laughs> She's not in a good mood. <laughs> and then of course we got Arrington. <laughs> hey guys, hi. hi. Yo, man, this is in your city. And the reason why I'm starting to show uncharacteristically mm-hmm. is because I got a testimony for rugged evolution. So mm. I've been using the rugged evolution bar. The uh, the 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 light skin bar. The exfoliant soap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Boy, look bar. how smooth my skin is. Listen, y'all can only hear my voice, but my voice just matches the texture of my face right now. <laughs> I've been using it for five days. Uh, uh, Not five days. So it's my eighth day. Mm. So eight days, I've been using it consecutively. Mm. And I'm telling you, my skin has been feeling. It hasn't felt this good in a minute. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with is you, this bro. A paid promo? No, like, he it... didn't pay this. You know when we we remember Christmas? I didn't, I didn't sign anything. Yeah, I didn't he, sign anything. Oh, the, the, he the, just the, gave the us bag? his stuff from yeah, the back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the expired stuff. Yeah, everything that he was like, I can't sell this. Not the expired <laughs> stuff. Not the expired stuff. <laughs> well, I'm here to say the stuff really works. Y'all, I care about you so much, man. I just wanted to give y'all or something. And it was like, <laughs> he was like, these didn't sell too well. But listen. <laughs> I've been using the body wash, which is completely gone now. Yeah. The ladies love it. Yeah. I've been oh, using man. the the bar soap on my face. Oh my god, the difference, dude, between what I was getting from Walmart and all the other places versus what you gave me. I got to give you your props, bro. And that's I why I wanted to start the show off. I wanted to start the show off shouting out Rugged Evolution. Y'all actually know what y'all doing, <laughs> even though I don't have a beard. They still got love for the guys with the baby faces. I mean, you still have chin hair. Just a little boo, just a little boo. Chin guy. hair. She <laughs> called it chin hair. You know, well, her man got the whole Santa Claus. <laughs> go ahead, Andrew. Let's go. Man, well, I'll give you some flowers. Man, I truly appreciate it, man. I truly appreciate it, Rock. Like he said, y'all, we are, uh, you are now tuning in. Two in your city here on WNSB Hot 91, the soul of the A. Look, soul. the baddest crew out there in radio right now, man. You're tuning in. Of course, uh, you know, you have comedian Sir Rock Fox. I thank you so much, sir, for those kind words. Again, shout out again to Mr. Cam Golly, our awesome mm-hmm. producer. Mm-hmm. I am your guy, Arrington Gavin. Now, normally we always have our girl, Hustle Queen, Miss Michelle. Y'all, but she, she, right she, is, uh, she is under the weather. She is she is not feeling well. She's running around too much. That's what I'm saying. She's a hustle queen and says, like, hey, she needs she needs a rest. Check she needs a rest. Instagram story. See what she really was doing. <laughs> <laughs> what was she doing? Michelle, show? We what were you doing back. last night? We can look back. All right. <laughs> but you know, to fill it to fill it for her, yes, we do have uh Mrs. Gavin, my lovely queen, hey. here with us. Making Woo-hoo. the radio debut. What's Let's goody? What's go. goody? What's goody? Go. She is not excited. Oh, she's not, but I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. It's, it's more to her story. It's more to her story. So my lovely wife, she had a nice uh, fun ladies' night uh, le- last night, and um, yeah, she was just enjoying herself. Let's just say that. And then uh, this morning, we you know we get the text uh, by Michelle. I'm not gonna be able to make it. I'm like, hey babe, so you mind filling in for? Uh, but she's like, wait, what? What? Yeah, let's do it. It's gonna be fun. And uh, with the to- the topic that I'm gonna talk about, it's perfect. And the topic I get why she's here, but her um, activities. The night before <laughs> makes this real cruel. Hey, because yeah. right. <laughs> the topic is not current. We could have talked about this next week. Yeah. Yeah. Two yeah. weeks from now. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> He said, no, I no. I said that this morning. Yeah. 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 I like, you do not need me. <laughs> I always need you, baby. <laughs> That's what he said, too. I always need you. Her eyes roll 360 <laughs> in the back of her head. <laughs> and I need to be on good behavior because, you know, the, the B-Day will be coming in pretty soon. So I'm trying to be on good behavior mm-hmm. anyway. But anyway, no, I'm hyped to have her, have her on and get her perspective on this, y'all, because I want to open. Oh, before I got... I forgot <laughs> my dad jokes. <laughs> Let me get oh, that going. It's about that time, guys. About he, that time. He, he went back to the book, too. That's not a good sign. And not the car game. Right. Oh, the car. I, I'm saving the car for the you know the podcast. Maybe right? it's a good one. He's like midway through the book. So right. he, missed, he skipped a he lot. He skipped some. <laughs> that, okay. that is a good sign. Okay. So this goes, did you know the first French fries weren't actually cooked in France? They were cooked in oil. They were cooked in grease. 
Can't ruin it. You weren't supposed to say it, like. Yeah, can kind of. I, I get why you picked it. Do it again. Do it okay. again. Okay. <laughs> don't say that again. You're right. My bad. Maybe we'll laugh. Wait, why are we repeating this? Like we can just move forward. <laughs> <laughs> we, don't, we don't have to do this. Because we did laugh the first time. It's okay. I ruined yeah. it. It's okay. I ruined his moment. We can we can move forward. Come on, let's go. Like we can hurry to stay up. Um. <laughs> Yeah, my bad, Arrington. I stole oh, you. I stole you. All the husbands out there, I'm one lucky man. I know I'm one lucky man. I stole you. I know. Well, let's go ahead and get into the. Let's topic. get into the topic then, <laughs> babe. Thank you so much for you know rushing my my dad joke. My um, so y'all, you know how much we are big advocates of uh equality and you know a uh, uh fair of wages for all people. You know, here on the show, we advocate for women getting their fair wages. Uh, people of color, so on and so on, especially collegiate athletes, right? Yeah. Now, yeah. this uh, station is owned and operated by Norfolk State University. We have a lot of great athletes that come out of this university. Behold and the that's green right. gold. That's right, and we are familiar with the NIL, the name, image, and likeness, where p- uh, players can make uh, money off of their name, again, image, and likeness. Uh, but there's been a turn of events happening recently. Dartmouth uh, University, which is a, a prominent Ivy League school, the men's basketball team had uh, voted for to unionize. Meaning that, hey, look, they want to be considered employees of the university. Now, I want to just open the floor. Uh, and well, let's speak with uh, my lovely wife, who's so excited to be Wait, here. Wait, lay oh. background. So we even. Oh, this- OK. The reason. OK. So my wife, a uh, uh, former collegiate swimmer, <clears throat> uh, the whole yeah. fit, my hope, my hope, the whole uh, my in-laws, professional athletes, really. My my uh, f- mother-in-law played college basketball. My brother played a college basketball over at a uh, university of Kentucky. Then went on to play a professional for about 14 years, uh, NBA developmental league, as well as, uh, in the, um, overseas in Europe. So great, great career. Uh, babe, I want to ask, what was your whole thought going back to, to the NIL and now hearing about a university talking about, you know, let's be considered employees rather than just. Okay. So the NIL, it's a good idea and I like it, mm-hmm. but when it was created, it lift the pressure off of the NCAA of paying their athletes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so we stopped talking about schools actually paying. Cause you're still making millions off of, of like a sport team or That's, an individual and the athlete is still not seeing that money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So instead the NCAA was like, actually, well you can make money off of your own name now. And then everyone was like, Oh yay!" But no one, I didn't even think about it. But no one was like, Oh, but I still want my money from you. Yeah, and the problem with the nil and excuse me because I'm a little I'm still tipsy. Um, <laughs> Mind you, it is 12 p.m. the next day. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Oh, we heard the story my of what I, it makes sense. Let her finish. You're right. You're right. You're right. Anyhow, I don't have to be here. <laughs> Y'all wanted me. <laughs> this is my day off. <laughs> but the thing is, is like it only works for certain athletes. Mm-hmm. And like it only right. works for that star basketball player. It only works for that star football player. But it does not work for the swimmer. It does not work for the tennis player. It does not work for the volleyball player. It does not work for the wrestler. It does not work for or just like a regular regular person on the football team. And so, so the problem is, is that instead the NCAA needs to give stipends out to athletes because if the complaint is I don't have enough money to support myself, get food when I need to get food, pay my cell phone bill, then you need to give me a stipend. Uh, and so, so that can, way it could be. We can agree that it's a step in the right direction because I mean it before, is before. Well, it was when she no was like that, though, it makes a lot of sense. She's th- these people are making money from a completely different organization, exactly. like a water company, a Gatorade company, right. something like that. Well, it's a school. Well, and on top of that, too, like to add to what you were saying, uh, babe, like basketball and football will always be, regardless of the uh, how popular the institution is that you're attending, that will always be the main attractions. They, they're they not coming to say, oh, I'm coming to watch, uh, you know, uh, such and such track team. Or oh, I'm coming to watch such and such. Uh, jousting. <laughs> I don't know why I, I said mean, jousting. I mean, but we say these sports. We say these sports. It was very random. I'm not going to say these sports. But how many hours is put towards practice? Like, you were swimming, right? Mm-hmm. I've seen swim practice before. Yeah. It is re- 
ridiculous. And even the meats are long. I, I, mean, all I think there's a balance, though, because what y'all are saying is right. They all put in the same work, but we, we can't ignore the fact that it also is based on how much money these programs are bringing into the school, uh, into the NCAA, et cetera, et cetera. She about to roast me. Go ahead. I know. Yes. Listen, <laughs> I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. But the thing is, is like you still need those other sports because to be a part of the NCAA, you need a certain amount of women's sports. Mm -hmm. You need For a sure. certain amount of athletes. For sure. And not only that, we help with enrollment. And so you might have See, a basketball team. You may have a football team, but are they winning? Yeah. And so, but your softball team has won back-to-back -back championships, but they're not bringing anybody. And don't, and don't yeah. get me wrong. Let me just qualify. I'm not saying they shouldn't get anything, right? That, that's yeah. not that's not my 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 point. What I'm saying is it should. And and if your women's softball team is the the top notch at that school, then they should get the biggest part of the pie. But they like, don't. I, I get it, and yeah. and and I agree with you in that yeah. sense that it should be broken down by what whoever's bringing the revenue mm -hmm. absolutely mm -hmm. I, I don't think it should be a one size fits all system that's not fair for the, the the teams that are actually putting in that work absolutely but there should be some type of breakdown as to oh they brought in this many um fans to see whatever games etc cetera, etc cetera. whichever right. one brought the most 35 percent of whatever they bring in from ncaa etc is like that fair because if a school markets their basketball or football team the most but doesn't market their other sports mm -hmm. is it their fault well i look at it as i play the devil's advocate babe because business is not about being fair in a sense mm -hmm. if if football or uh, uh basketball who, whoever whoever if they're making the most and making the most uh uh giving us doing the most exposure because of their their talent their ability and stuff like that now I'm sorry, they have to get more of that pot rather than just the other sports. Now, I get what you're saying about being involved in the NC, um, NCAA because you need a certain amount of uh, teams required and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, if this one's making me the money, I'm sorry, I'm going to make you the face. I'm going to make and She you did bring up a point of marketing. Mm -hmm. So if the school is using its marketing dollars only on the two prime sports, which is uh, uh, basketball football and football. basketball, mm -hmm. then... Of course, they're going to make the most money. I mean, if we put more advertising dollars towards Rugged Evolution skincare products than mm -hmm. Rugged Evolution beard care products, then the skincare products are going to bring in more money. If you have a swim championship four or five time back to back winning team, then that should be your marketing strategy. But I think it's hard to, okay, what is going to be more of a um, draw? More of a, more of a draw and yeah a draw to people. If yeah. people, but you can why keep a, is it a draw? But I'm just saying because you can keep of the marketing. On, but you can keep on marketing. Uh, <laughs> for example, like he just said, joust. You can market the hell out of joust. Yeah. But guess what? People gonna find it boring. It's, it's also the popularity. Of yeah. The it's like I mean, foot, football is yeah. just a, always gonna be America's number one entertaining uh sport. Basketball, same way. You're gonna see people get juked out and all that stuff. I mean, there's a lot of highlight reels involved. Ain't no highlight reel in joust. Ain't no highlight reel in tennis. I mean, well, maybe tennis, but uh, it's just it's just it's hard. And I'm not and I'm not saying that they shouldn't because I I think this is why the whole Dartmouth story is gonna be very uh um very beneficial because you're saying now all the no. athletes should be considered employees. Now we was we was now. The only thing about that is that, okay, they're considered as employees, but money has to come from somewhere. Mm -hmm. So what jobs are going to be cut? What teams are going to be cut? Mm, because but, if you do that, then where is that money coming from? Well, you still have a lot of donors, too. I mean, let's be honest. People that are not okay, even uh, alumni from it, they would donate to you are an employee, don't you want to make a certain salary? That's true. Don't you want to have Regardless benefits? of the drawing from Don't you the... want to have retirement plan? So... But Where we're talking about we're talking from? about collegiate athletes for four years, maybe five max. So by the time that they is can up, still want that, they can still have that. If they want to mm -hmm. be an employee of the school, they have the right to do that. Mm -hmm. So why not reap all the benefits? You see, it still sounds like the <laughs> argument on why doesn't the WNBA make more money than yeah, the yeah, NBA? Yeah, yeah, and then you right. find out the NBA is stifling and, money and, from them. And it's, it's funny you brought that up, Sarah, because recently, and not trying to get off topic but like the las vegas aces in the wba they right. just for the first time they sold out the basketball state which is unheard of in in a women's basketball professional women's basketball selling out uh during um not even during like a finals game or championship this was during a regular season uh matchup so it's like it but you're absolutely right though i think it's um and the worst part is where the money comes from uh, and the worst part is a lot of the team owners of wba teams are owners of 
NBA squads. So it's like it goes to the market. Now, are you marketing? Are you marketing your WNBA just as much as you marketing your? That's NBA? a that's a deeper conversation. Though. Yeah, yeah and, and we don't have enough time for it now, but we can we could continue discussion in the podcast part. But that's a whole other like, absolutely right, absolutely. So before here. we before we leave the subject, yeah. yeah. I guess our final thought. What's your final thought on the unionization? Good, bad? I would say good. I honestly would say good because good. you have this. You have star players that are you know you're, are going to make more than their teammates. But now this is saying at least you know you can still get something in additional in addition to your nil. So it's just about, I think it's good. It's just pros and cons. So I'm in the middle. <laughs> I'm in the middle too because just like you said, I'm thinking about the where's the money going to come from mm-hmm. if you're in a sport. Like y'all said, that just don't get that much attention, mm-hmm. and the school isn't marketing it like that. Like, uh, uh was it lacrosse? Mm-hmm. Lacrosse is a very popular sport amongst Ivy athletes. League, yeah, and Ivy League schools. Yeah. Watchers, mm-hmm. I might have an answer for that, but I'll talk more about that in the pod, though. Uh, Kim, I came. Uh, what was your no, thoughts no. on the whole? I already, I said it's good. Okay, yeah, okay. I, I think it's a step in the right direction. Do it, do it, do it, and figure out everything. Like this is the thing that's going to get figured out as Push we go it along. Forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. you're not going to have all the answers now. It gets modified as we go along. The most important thing was they stopped blocking athletes from getting paid, which was ridiculous from yeah, day which one. Which is crazy. Right. You're not going to have me on no 2K right. and not pay oh, me nothing. Oh wait, that look. That's yeah. going to be that's going to be both <laughs> for the pie right there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But y'all, look, it's about that time. Of course, our favorite segment of the day is called Sirac. Man, what you think? So glad we can edit that shit out. (laughs) It's time for Ciroc. What you think? What's going on, 757? It's your favorite segment. I'm so prepared for this one. I'm telling you, I was studying all night. Now... Look, this week, Ciroc, what you think is going to be a doozy. It's the Zeus effect. That's right. The Zeus effect. Now, when I'm talking about Zeus, I'm not talking about the chunky white man with the white beard and, and got a whole bunch of kids all over the world. I'm not talking about that Zeus. I'm talking about Wait, well, Zeus, talking? the most <laughs> popular deadbeat dad in history. I thought you know? so, I, well, I, I thought you about Nick Cannon when you say kids all oh around the world. I'm God. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm Look, sorry. if we gonna judge this black man Nick Cannon, then Zeus needs to be like the president of Deadbeat Dad. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about the TV network oh, Zeus. We all know Blueface, the Baddies Club, Jocelyn Hernandez, Jocelyn Hernandez, Trisha, oh. Roly Poly, uh, the trashiest. Some of the the most toxic black television I have ever seen. It's like it Zeus says, death. "Oh, BET, we can one up them." And went full on toxic. Now, people wanted to ask me, what do I think about these um, young producers, these young black and, and, and mixed multiracial people, producers making so much money off their show ideas on Zeus? To tell you the truth, I hate it. And <laughs> I know I'm ne- I'm the type of person who never wants to block a bag. But it's it's you get to a certain point of responsibility when it comes to being a creator. You got to understand this is going to be part of history. Mm-hmm. Zeus Network is now a part of black entertainment history, mm-hmm. whether we like it or not, yeah. whether we, we agree with the messages or not. People are going to go back in time 20, 30, 40 years from now and study what they got out in Bad Bad Girls Club, Baddies Club, or whatever you call it, mm-hmm. is going to be the subject of discussion. Yeah. There's going to be classes about this. There's going to be professors lecturing about how come these people generated so much money off the negativity mm-hmm. of black images? Now, for me, when it comes to that type of stuff, I say no to the scripts every single time. I've been asked to do reality shows almost every year since 2019. And I say no every single time time i do not care how much the money gets you can ask my wife the biggest offer we got was five hundred thousand dollars for a reality tv show and it was going to be called in your city Mm -hmm. and i said hell to the no because it was going to be on the network that was full of the negative uh Mm -hmm. uh uh um, what am i calling what am i trying to say negative representation representation of black women yeah the whole thing was going to be about how much we can't stand black women. How much black women get in our nerves? Mm-hmm. How much black women argue with us? And, and how they much came to you for that? They came for me for that. Of all the people, 
of all the people. Now, granted, somebody this didn't do their homework. <laughs> <laughs> granted, this was a Zeus network. This was a, a YouTube network that yeah. is pretty popular. Don't get me wrong. This mm -hmm. YouTube network brings in a lot of. I think they have over 2.3 million subscribers. I'm not going to shout them out because I don't want them to get any more subscribers than what they have. Mm. The point of me bringing this up, and I hope y'all can comment on this, mm -hmm. is we all know that negativity is the popular thing to promote oh, yeah. when it comes Controversy to Controversy sells. Media. Controversy sells. More than sex, if you ask me. Mm -hmm. um, Zeus no, has... <laughs> you could put controversy everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus so, yes. has found an audience who, I don't know, just draws to that negative construct. And I feel like overall, it's just... It's going to destroy us if we let this build larger than what it is. Well, well the, mm. the worst thing, Sorak, I mean, you speak nothing but facts is, and we've said it probably many times throughout uh, just conversation is the world is all about now money over morals. You for you, mm. you, 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 you uh, walk away from character. You walk away from, again, representation. You walk away how really, you know, they'll probably will raise much, you know, much better than that. But oh, the, fact I believe the, it. the fact of the matter is money is a drug. Popularity is a drug. When all the attention on, is on you, that's a drug. And rather than continue to help these individuals, because let's be honest, Blueface, Krishan, toxic people, extremely toxic, going through some things. Jocelyn Hernandez, same thing. She, I, I, as much as I can talk about my frustration about Kanye West, I know that's a dude that needs help. Yeah. But instead of doing that, they continue to add more ammo, add more uh, fuel to the fire and say, look, let's make some money off of this. It's almost like they say, OK, this episode was pretty bad. How can we talk? How about can this? we make it worse? Yes. And, and, and man, and honestly, I, as much as I you know, respect Nick Cannon as a businessman, as what he's doing, this is to me, I, I'm when you saw I'm not, I'm not I'm not happy. About I was that. So I'm not happy about that. I was so disappointed because he's now adding more content for them in a negative way. So you said, uh, Sorak, that you think it's going to like lead to. Um, I, did you use the word downfall? I, what's a good way? Because I don't want to just enrage people off the off sub lines and, and, and yeah. you know, headlines. Because I want to make sure I'm responding to the right thing. I, the clearest way that I can put it so you can ask me the question is I believe that the content that we are dropping is going to lead a generation of black people to think that this is the only way that I can make and it. And that's where like I was rapping. going with it because I, with that being said, so you think emulation would be yeah. a thing mm. with that. Like think of it, think of it like, uh, um, you remember the, the Tide Pod challenges and yeah. everything yeah. like For that? Sure. Where kids were going viral off doing ridiculous challenges and yeah. let me Some just say end up in the hospital from them. tide pods look delicious i wouldn't have one but they look like candy like they do they're, they're you know but whatever okay cam said <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, what, cam, what cam was doing laundry cam said oh, i see why they do it i can see i get it i get it if i was a kid it looked like a big candy ball uh, <laughs> so so the, the the basis for my questioning was like i feel like people look at these like the Zeus Network. We we can even go to MTV, BET, all yeah. these reality programs that we've been programmed to love for like the last 20 years now. Yeah. I feel, and again, I'm speaking from my age bracket, my upbringing, et cetera, et cetera, that the look to these things are more about entertainment. But I see what you're saying because you're speaking from the lens of a younger generation yeah. and then yeah. younger than that to see these things on television and say, Oh, okay. So that's what it is. That's how I'm supposed to. And be I wouldn't. Even, I wouldn't even just say that, Cam. I would say for the people that already talk down on black, the black culture in general. That yeah. is that is that is great ammunition for them to say. See, look at them. Look at them. Right. Oh, uh, cutting up. That's why. I, that's why I look at them funny. That's why I judge. You know, only people but of color there's, differently. There's just a, a many trashy white folks on TV. So. Oh, abso there absolutely. Is, but, but I don't see. Tra I, I don't see too many trashy white networks like zeus you know what i'm saying like i see mm. if you if you turn your tv on right now how many uh uh ratchet uh that's you know prominent point. white so that's can you point. turn and be like oh yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna watch some white they, people fight all the Jerry time spring and maury for a few years that's yeah. about that was so, it and let's yeah. not play like our our community isn't is connected i mean not uh, i'm doing it backwards so let mm. me start over let's not act like the black community isn't secretly all connected in some way, shape or form. Mm -hmm. Like I get as far as culture goes, 
uh, um, white people are kind of disconnected from each other. Mm-hmm. Right. They kind of just live their own lives. Right, right, right. Um, Asians have a strong, yeah, uh, cultural, strong. Yep, yep, you know, connection. Yep. Mm-hmm. But black people, we're that we're that people who, if one of us do it. All of us in some way, <laughs> shape, or form are connected yeah. to it. Yeah. Whether yeah. we like it or don't. I mean, I know it's annoying and I know it's like not fair, but that's just how life is. Right. When one black person do it, you know you see them and say, you mean this all of them. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. It's no, like it's, it's like you turn, you <laughs> turn and be like, oh, the first African American, such and such. Oh, and then you turn, here's Zeus. God dang it, we backwards that we just move. Like it's always <laughs> something. It's always something. And it takes it's so hard because it's 2024, bro. Civil rights that's been existing for years. It's like you know, our ancestors fought for years, and now we got trash like this. That's because of making you an honest I can't dollar. Stand it. It's I can't oh, stand it's, it. it's, it's disgusting. And it's disgusting. It's mad. So it's hard to stop people from doing it because these people are making millions. Yeah, they're starting businesses. They're starting uh, uh, um, whole reputable companies and conglomerate conglomerate. Lord, look, Jesus, Con- conglomerates, <laughs> <Right>. conglomerates <laughs> from these trashy shows, like. The, the it opens the door to amazing opportunities. Yeah. I get that, but at what cost? At what your cost? children are going to see this. Yeah, your children are going oh, to see you. Sure, sure. Sure. Do you? I mean, yes, you can talk about the reality shows, but it's been around for years in our music. Um, mm. When we go into business meetings, the way we dress, the our previous generation, generation, all that stuff. So it's been a built up. So we can't just say, oh, it's just because of trashy reality. No, that's just a built up. That's the product of the last generation. And we're a part of the, you know, previous Like it generation. amplifies yeah. from what we, because there were what reality shows like College Hill. Right. Yep, College but Hill, when you watch Real College World. Hill, did you get disgusted? But do you get disgusted when you watch rap videos where there's naked women? That, oh, definitely. I mean, definitely. If I'm watching, but think, like if you imagine all the music videos that you have seen, have you been disgusted? Oh yeah. Well, I think, and that, and that's why oh, you got yeah. guys. I'm, you know, shout out to like guys like J Cole, Kendrick Lamar, mm-hmm. I, Chance the Rapper. I feel like those guys always try to like say, "Hey, look." I mean, of course, common. You know, the neo, you know, neo soul genre. It's like, "Hey, look, we we don't always have to." This is not what hip hop is about. You have you, it's so much stuff involved in it, but you don't have to make that like your main. Uh, uh, Theme are of you which discussed you're... it with strippers? I haven't been to a strip club in a long time. You know That's what? A the, whole other conversation. You know what? <laughs> the, the, the what, what I'm la- saying is oh, right. you can't call out, "Oh, this is trashy," but then not call out the other trash that we've been doing. Very true. It's, it's Very true. true. It's true. So, but I th- but I, I think, think I think I think it's easy to call out reality. Well, I'm trying to see which one has more viewership in a from, sense. That's always from a hard. childhood. You know, standpoint. I've always been against reality TV. Like mm-hmm. always, to me, it was all because it's not reality. It's yeah. producers in yeah. the ear of the people saying, "I'm just unimpressed by it." Yeah, I'm not against it, but I, it's just it's just like watching scripted TV at this point. If it was real mm-hmm. reality, I wouldn't even trip. Yeah, if yeah. it was the actual, like if the producers just let things play out, yeah, I wouldn't be bugging it. But all. then, when would you watch a trashy movie? What you mean, like describe like, a, a? So you user, just said like. Movie. Um, reality TV said, so, "Oh, it's trashy. It's scripted. Basically, they're actors. Right. So, what's the difference between that and the actor being like in the movie? And you going to the movie because the see? premise of reality TV is supposed to be real. it's supposed to be real. Yeah. Watching it's fake. Not but all, not all that, people though. Not all people. Yeah. We're saying we know. We, I mean, obviously, but not all people. People will very say true. this is very true, and that's why again, representation is always key because." When you see people, I mean, think of how many viral videos we see of people arguing and fighting in a in a restaurant, in a grocery store, yeah, in the most random. Real, they think it's real. It's like they exactly. called the manager four or five weeks like, ahead of time. Why were they even it. filming at that point? Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. 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 So like, let's say it's not. Let's use her example of okay. We all know, mm-hmm. like you know, the older, the younger, everybody. We all know that this is scripted. Mm-hmm. Dumber and Dumber to me is one of my most hated. I hate that movie more than anything <laughs> on this planet. There's not a movie out there that I hate more than Dumber and Dumber. <laughs> really? And Dumber and Dumber and Dumber. Like all of them. All the errors. They had the errors. I hate that type of comedy. I like the type of comedy that happens from real reactions. If I'm pouring something in this cup mm. and it overflows because I'm not paying attention, okay. But if I'm pouring into this cup and it overflows and I'm watching it and people think that I'm <laughs> It's just that type of yeah, yeah, yeah. It messes up my whole 
Yeah. I just want to fight the producers and the directors and everybody, and that's how I feel because, about reality. Because TV. some, because sometimes even though mo- even though what movies, it's like yeah, they have some uh, real realism to it, but it's like give give us um um. I'm actually about to lose my train of thought, but oh, no. I get that. Uh, it's because they talk. Uh, <laughs> so so what you, what you, what you were saying is like. Movie's supposed to be about imagination too. So when yeah. they create a movie, it's like, okay, can you imagine this happening? But it's like, no, you can't imagine somebody can't. just looking at it and watching it overflow. It's a not, it's forced a- plot is the worst type of creation. A forced plot, something right. that you just need to happen because you need something to happen, right. is the worst type of entertainment. And reality TV is the pinnacle of it. Well, so that's man. where my my well because says, movies sir. fall into that line often, but nowhere near. Yeah, as yeah. reality TV do. Man, well said, well said. Look, we're coming to a close with the show, but before we end it off, we have a couple of uh, um, events happening. So I know, Ciroc, uh, oh, you, you have your... You okay, okay. So May yours. May 11th, y'all, May 11th, um, uh, uh, the Regular Lucia Foundation will present a toast to moms. It's a Mother's Day theme event. We're so excited. We're going to be praising and catering all the amazing mothers out here uh, in Hampton Roads. We have um, uh, some vendors that will be a part of it. We have our very own DJ Scanless of WNSB Hot 91. He'll be on the ones and twos. We have uh, Ashley Smith of 13 News going to be hosting it. Um, Roberta Lee performing. Um, we also have um, two amazing comedians. We have Miss Sherry Priester. And then headlining will be Steph Funny. In your city will be there, so come on uh, yeah. by. If Go on Eventbrite right now. Tickets are available. Please get them before it's too late. And also, uh, so right, you got That's an event happening right after that. Not right after, but the next weekend or so. It'll be May twenty fifth, and we have the Drugs Are Bad show. And um, this is a comedy and R and B uh, vibe type night, grown and sexy. There'll be vendors in attendance. It'll be at um, Hypnotics Restaurant and Lounge. A very nice event. Tickets are going to be on sale on Eventbrite as well. Um, we have uh, Apple Brown Betty, one of the dopest comedians out of Richmond, Virginia, um, doing the headlining for the comedy portion. And we got a gentleman by the name of Zeke, who is, if you've ever heard of Zeke out of uh, New York, and he came down Ooh. here uh, to help us with a show called Jersey. The Full Package. Jersey. Oh, Jersey, Jersey. Jersey. I apologize. This man, piano, music production, singing, Jersey, Jersey, rapping, talented. the dude got it all. And he'll be headlining the music portion of it. We also have young stars like Mayana and Charlie Rod, Shorty and the Mike performing. And then, you know, I'll do a little something, something on the mic as well. <laughs> um, y'all know how our shows go. It is amazing. I'm telling you, we've never let the audience down. So, you know, it's going to be a dope time. It. Look, again, tune in every Sundays at 12 p.m. here on WNSB Hot 91 to In Your City, hosted by myself, uh, Aaron T. Gavin, along with comedian Ciroc Fox, Hustle Queen, Miss Michelle Young. And then always we have to shout out our amazing producer, Mr. Cam Godley. Now, look, we ain't going to go anywhere. We're going to go in a podcast format. So be sure to tune in uh, to our podcast wherever you listen to your podcast, Spotify, Apple, IR, Aussie, wherever. We out. What? Question. Okay. All right. Way all right. Over. First of all, but shit. Let's go. Okay. Let's get that. Out <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> Question. Let's go back to the college sports. Okay. Yes. College athlete. Okay. If you had a way to go about making money from swim, and you had a plan on where the money came from, what would it be? Is that too complicated of a, of a question? Like, where would the money come from? How would you get paid if you had control over that for swim? Like. If- if I was in charge of like the NCAA or well, no, you were an athlete. You're an athlete, and they asked your opinion, like, okay, you want to get paid? How mm-hmm. you want to get paid? Well, one, I want a stipend. Um, it could be a thousand per month, or is that the min- is that the minimum a thousand? A minimum, yes. You said per month. Yes. Damn. Because this I have man is <laughs> you're not the dean, bro. Like you're not the, <laughs> the money ain't come out of your pocket. Damn. I mean, you know, you guys maybe 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 like two not... maybe like how about two thousand per semester? Because no, no, but all I'm saying is two thousand. Hold up, per hold up, semester? But, Who did you marry? First of all, I'm sorry, but swimming is not a year around in in college, is it? Yes. Oh, it is. Yes. Oh, it's oh, never mind. Indoor sport and outdoor. I didn't know that. <laughs> um, but I mean, you know what I mean? Because I'm like, I'm thinking of in season. I'm like, wait a minute. You, they're not really, but okay, I, been my bad, my together bad. Together for like about like, my bad, my bad. Continue, continue. Real, continue. You like, think, at least study your own. House, <laughs> know, right? God. Go what ahead, events? What events did I swim? Anyway. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Hey, Why'd you say the four by the, Hold on, hold up. <laughs> the 50 free, the 100 free, and the 100 uh, fly. And the Ask me, ask me, ask me, I don't know my woman. Ask me, I don't know my woman. 
<laughs> All you men out there, keep fighting. I'm here for you. You don't know what your women swim. You don't know what your women swim. <laughs> <laughs> she got some bad. Where 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 them strong men at? Let her let her Oh, bro. Anyway, at least a thousand or two thousand because I need gas, um, groceries, um, other items that I may need on a daily basis. So I need my money, and then I will make money like hosting swim camps in my name. Um, mm. renting out the pool. I like that. And also, of course, I have a children's book. Goggle Girl takes a mark. Go buy it on Amazon. Hey. And wait. plug it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you, you know, doing readings, doing um private swim lessons, lifeguarding lessons, everything. So we get it. A thousand dollars. So, so you do agree that it should be based on what you bring to the table individually. No. Well, it sounds like it's a little of both. It sounds like because it's part of... If you, one second. If you're doing all that, then mm -hmm. why does so-and-so next to you... So that's, you know, making money off of my own name. Now, the that's university what I'm saying. So that's, that, so that's NIL like, right there, which right. you thought. Okay. But the university does need to pay me because I don't have time for a job. So you're telling me I have to wake up at 445 every single morning mm -hmm. to have a two-hour swim practice, weightlifting, and then... Also, be a part of the college. So you're talking strictly like else. this is salary, quote right. unquote, like what right. you should yeah, get yeah, for yeah. being that. Okay, the, stipend, yes. the monthly okay. stipend part. Right. So when you went into the other stuff, I think that just stuff should be nil. That mm -hmm. should have nothing to do right. with the university. Okay, so we're in mm -hmm. agreement. Okay, yes. okay. And so you know, I the school needs to pay me because I don't have the opportunity to have a job like a normal student. A normal student, Keenan, they can fix their fix their classes the way sure. they want to. Absolutely. Um, they can work at a nearby grocery store. They can control their hours where I cannot. And, e and even though, Kev, like, I mean, you make a great point. I agree with you. But to add to that, at the end of the day, whichever event that, you know, you and your team plan for, you're Shier, mm -hmm. you share Gavin, but you're still representing that university. So technically, that's still good promotion for the university. So in a sense, it's like, hey, you got to still right. cover it at some points because – I'm giving you great promotion. I, I get to. I'm gonna right. talk with such and such well, about like my new book. But when they go to the Olympics, like when you watch the Olympic true, trials, true, they true. wear their college cap. Yeah. Mm. And you know when they go to a big swim meet, when they're an independent swimmer, they're still wearing their college gear, the goggles, everything mm -hmm. else. And that's something that blows my mind. So, and she she taught me that one. So during the Olympic trials, if a collegiate swimmer, a current a collegiate athlete, is in the Olympics, all that money that they make, if say if they win the gold medal, can't do it. Because because they're still under NCA. Yes, yes. And that wow. blew my mind. So yeah. sometimes you hear sometimes you see on those gold medals. Yeah. And sometimes sometimes you see a lot of um uh collegiate well, excuse me, you see a lot of swimmers that will make it win win in the Olympics and then enter into enter into school afterward. Like I know a lot of gymnasts do that. They will be like, mm -hmm. Okay, look, I just want to go medal, but I'm now enlisted in uh going to UCLA to pull, right. but now I can't take but I've already made my money, but I can't do so now. But now mm -hmm. since it's NIL Anytime, and I just let's just not limit this to sports, but mm -hmm. let's limit this to overall fair compensation. Yeah. Anytime you bring in a dime yeah. to an organization you need a percentage of that dime. Yeah, I don't absolutely, care. I, absolutely. It's just, let's just be whatever excuse you can say, like, oh, it tarnished the integrity of the blah, 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 blah. You getting paid. Exactly. Your bills and, are and, paid and from this. We should yeah. not use the word integrity when you're making money off the backs of these ch children, for argument's sake, for and not even and, and not even hundreds that. of years. Think of the TV deals that the NCAA will because see universities get a part of that gut too. All those Absolutely. all those TV revenue, all of the uh tournaments that they make. I mean, at, I look at it like this. If my head coach is making damn near 10 million a year, and I'm speaking in like for football, for example, uh uh Nick Saban, who's retired now, he's one of the highest paid football mm -hmm. players. I mean, football uh, college football coaches, mm -hmm. 10 million a year in college. Educators are making maybe six figures, uh, you know, maybe 150 and max and stuff. the crazy thing is not every athlete gets a full ride. No, no, no. no. You know, you're still taking out student loans. And, and, and he, if he sliced a million off of that 10, every athlete could and, go I mean, they get so many but, great benefits. I remember reading on uh, Nick Saban's contract, within his contract that he signed, he actually had, <laughs> they had a dealership, a Mercedes dealership in his contract. So he now, when he retires, that's something he can always fall on. The, you know. just, At just that point, you be, get pimped. But I'm sorry. For sure.
But just to just to add like a little more to that, mm-hmm. being Nick Saban coming to your school is big stuff. Is big stuff. Oh, absolutely, revenue absolutely. into the absolutely. school also. And so then, I don't want to. I don't want to shit on him per se. Oh no, no, no. They're, they're they're making. But just as still, example, as for yeah, like those still coaches, enraging, though it's still enraging when. I, so I was a, a military athlete mm-hmm. who competed against the college athletes, mm-hmm. right? Okay. Track and field. Mm-hmm. Okay. There was times where we had international or national meets and we would all be in the hotel and hang out and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And we would all go out to eat and this college athletes who's cool with me, who got to ask me for money to eat. Yep. Yeah. Like, hey, sorry, man. You, you think I can, you know, borrow $20? I'm like, man, you like ranked number one in our, our meet. What are you talking about? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's like, no, nah, we don't get it. And you know, you know, know how it was, it was so stupid. Like, I, I don't, I know you all heard about like the bagel thing. Like they can't oh, yeah. get food yeah. or it has to be under and share. Mm-hmm. You could probably tell us a little better. I about mean, how I those things got went. in trouble because we were stealing food out of the cafeteria. That's wild. And that's wild. I mean, it's crazy, but that's the life of an athlete. We have to stop thinking like, oh, all students are the same because we're not. Right. It doesn't make sense that a student can, you know, make a software, have a product blow up and make their own money and then go to classes and get special treatment. But the athletes can't. Right. And we have to stop thinking like, oh, well, we got to treat you the same. No, athletes, you know, you guys get a full um, full ride. You guys also have access to the cafeteria, um, you know, and you guys get a stipend. So that way you can take care of yourself. Yeah. And I had to, you know, correct myself. And I mean, trust and believe, she had tore me a new one because I was at, from an initial standpoint, I'm like, well, you have a full ride, so what's the big deal, I right? Always hated and, that argument. And I was, and and I, I was, and that was that me. Argument. That was yeah, me yeah, for yeah, a good yeah. minute, and then I had to correct myself because I'm like, wait a minute, you can't get you, deodorant. Well, <laughs> but but not but not but not, but not even just that. What that scholarship entails is like, okay, boom, you don't have to pay for your classes, which majority of the time you're there's, not there because. And not to cut uh, you off, bro, but this is what pissed me off about that argument. There's no real monetary value to an education well and that's what i was it's, about to <laughs> it's whatever they deem it is and, that, and that's, what, free, that's what i had to correct whether it be three hundred thousand dollars for four years so don't give me that argument when y'all are making money and you're giving me something that like but but to uh, add to add more to what you're yeah. saying because that's exactly where i was heading heading towards yeah. you're telling me okay i'm covered for my classes which 80 percent of the time i'm not here because i'm playing another school at a, at a different and university that, representing you guys and, and on t- get that same treatment like the basketball team, football team, they get treated different from all the other athletes. For sure. Like, how come the basketball team, yes, they get full rides, but also they get their books covered where I have to take out student loans and I have to cover my own books. And then not only mm-hmm. that, you gave them a bigger food budget than us. And when they get off the bus, they get sandwiches or the cafe is closed. No problem. Yeah. But for me as a swimmer, I got to fight for my own and figure it out. You got to find a McDonald's. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, pretty, pretty much. And I got to pay for like, my in, own and hope you wait, got wait, four wait. quarters. We're talking in your school's cafeteria? Yeah, in my school cafeteria. And also, I seen it with my brother. Like, my brother, when you walked into his dorm, first of all, they had security. They had their own personal RA. They had a whole chef and a about- whole kitchen. Mm. You walk down to the lacrosse, you know, whatever place Wing. and uh-huh. no, nothing. And we're and when that. you say school, if it's okay, if I can mm-hmm. say the school, you're talking about University of Kentucky. So yeah. very known. I mean, in Kentucky, the state of Kentucky, yeah, you say you play a, for UK, you, you, oh, you, you bigger than God, God out there. Especially school. being in the basketball program. Yeah. What? What? Yeah. What? Yeah. what? And even <laughs> in my school where... You know, the football team can get like an escort from the police, but the swimmers we can't. We gotta fight over a van. You don't I about to say you don't even get you don't even get a bus. <laughs> Like, Carpool. Wait, you get the church van to go to meets? Yes. Oh, oh that's a oh, right. hey, look, that's an upgrade right yeah. there. That's an upgrade like, right there. The part, <laughs> but the crazy part about our program was that we were a winning team and we finished, you know, top ten, top five of the fastest females, beat D1. They schools, were kicking ass. They were kicking and, ass. And you know, receiving all of the sponsorships, and everything else. But yeah. then our football team is what again? You know, they're mm. losing. Oh, but they still get all this stuff. And then not only that, a lot of schools, they will spend millions of dollars on their football team, but the revenue back, they don't make that I back. Was, I was just going to add, because I went to mm. Temple University in Philly. Mm. Um, our basketball team during the time that I went was good. Like we were we were in, making in tournaments, et cetera, et cetera. Football team did not produce wins, but 
still brought a lot of revenue or at least a lot of revenue got pumped into that program. Um, but again, we were like going like two and eight, like we had mm -hmm. very unsuccessful seasons. So I can add to what you're saying, because yeah. again, if you're in those, like your football, your basketball, to some degree, baseball, like those, mm -hmm. that's where the money is going. Yeah. That's where the money is going. And sometimes it comes to who, who yeah. donates. I mean, you either have alumni that says, Hey, I'm going to donate yeah. strictly to this um, yeah. um football, win or lose. I'm a diehard. This, uh, you know, we got huge uh, uh, Virginia Tech Hokie fans out here. We got huge UVA, I mean, UNC yeah. as well. So it's yeah. like people that didn't even go to university. I'm just a fan, so I'm going to donate. So you that's see, the hard I'm part. Not, I'm not even saying pay the athletes, you know, A-list a, a contracts. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there's no way that it should be 12 o'clock in the afternoon and the whole team is trying to figure out how we're going to eat. Yeah, right. yeah. Like we got practice in a little bit. By the time we're done, like at, you said, the very is closed. Least, how are we going to eat? At very right. least, the cafeteria should be always an option. 20, yep, there's no reason the cafeteria should be closing before midnight. That's first and foremost. If you're you're right. Or if it you're do, right. they should get a con a, 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 a schedule like, oh, the lacrosse team and the tennis team are going to be come, coming come. in at you know eleven. Let's open up a small portion of it so they can get some like. I've never heard stories like that before. That's oh, it's, look, it's even oh, worse yeah, than those. It's that's worse. Insane. Insane. And it's sad because that's a lot insane. of a lot of those athletes that they that they bring in, man, not everybody comes with the silver from a silver spoon, you know, born mm -hmm. with a silver spoon. So it's like but that I'm and I'm sorry to cut you off again, but that's that's the AD. Because every school is not like that, I have to believe. Oh no, the no athletic way. director should be directly to blame for that. Is it? Is there there got to be more than one well, person well, above well, that well, type of situation. Well, no, what you're white, but uh, you're you're white. Huh? You're right, but <laughs> 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 you're far from white, Cam. Uncle Ruckus. You <laughs> don't trust the new hands <laughs> over there. Me, thankfully, I haven't got any dog <laughs> from the cream. <laughs> Bleach and lemons is oh. hot. He might have <laughs> I was gonna say, Kim, you're absolutely, you're absolutely right. But like, the uh, the ads really, it's up to them to probably talk it up with NCAA, NCAA, and that's no. why the NCAA. But the NCAA is the one that but really controls all that the, stuff. The athletes on my campus did not go through what she's talking about. And again, there's some years removed, obviously, mm -hmm. but every athlete, track, football, baseball, like. They were all like I'm taking care of. Well, I will say when we competed against Kentucky, they were in a completely different hotel than us. So they were in a way better Kentucky hotel basketball than is professional. We yeah. yeah, it's not well, they, 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 are not they, they are professional. <laughs> they have their own <laughs> jets. Regular college, right? <laughs> look, look, Bama, them, Oregon, they have their own private jets. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like, they, there's, they, like there's no professional schools. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they eat lobster. Like, no like, 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 like in Oregon, their track and field team, we didn't even see them until the meet. Like they were in a completely different. Exactly. And, see, and, that's, and exactly. that's another thing. See, like uh, uh, Knight, the one that started Nike, he I don't think he was a graduate of Oregon, but I know Oregon's I mean, Nike's headquarters is in Oregon. And they, that's why uh, Oregon football, they always get the dope uniforms. Oh, and uniforms. Always, crazy. always. Crazy um, and I'm going to tell you all a crazy, crazy story. This is not uh, uh, from Oregon, but um, about EA Sports. I know we all familiar with EA Sports. They're, they're the ones that create like the Madden, all the sports uh, video games. And back then, they used to always have a collegiate version they had for basketball and football. Yeah. So they, I played a few. Man, they're bringing it back. But here's the here's the the sad thing. So there was um it was an article reported that uh, EA Sports had signed a um, made a, a six point six million dollar deal with about eleven uh, players NIL deals. So where each player will make a minimum of six hundred dollars. Uh, for them to use their Im name, image, and likeness to that video game. Do it fluctuate depending on who they are? Like, do Andrew Reese get more? Than Pro and probably, because again, they just they just gave us the min the minimum, so it, it could. See, it could yeah, fluctuate. when I heard it before, I didn't realize I was a minimum. Yeah, it could, yeah. it's the minimum, so it could fluctuate. But the the crazy thing is, man, and I was doing some research with EA Sports. EA Sports is worth almost close to forty billion dollars. Forty billion dollars. Six point six million is a tip. I mean that's 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 them tipping uh you know their waiter or waitress like that's it's extremely I feel like sad. Even, they probably even said they can do more, but they hit the Arrington and said, you know what? I actually <laughs> I actually bought up a five yo, in there. Let me run that back. Hitting <laughs> the Arrington is crazy. But you knew what I meant when absolutely. I said that. Absolutely. <laughs> like oh snap, it's a ten in that tip. I meant to only get. Can, can you give me change for that tip, please? <laughs> He, he told that story probably too, Cher. Like, I know. Yeah. I told, she was the first one to hear it when I told her when I yeah. sat down. I'm like, 
<laughs> look, look, uh, Ciroc, I sat down to him. <laughs> so mad. That's the wrong bill. That's the wrong. Yo, probably didn't bill. eat out another a week no, or two no. before y'all went. That joke rolled yeah. out, and I saw Abe Lincoln. I he said, was ah. on, he, was on, he was on peanut butter and jelly sandwiches for a week. Because oh. <laughs> he accidentally did fifty percent. Right. Oh man. I wasn't but prepared. I wasn't prepared. It wasn't I guess prepared. so. My my closing on the subject, and we can move on to the next. Mm. Well, my yeah. last opinion is that I'm not even asking for these people to be full out platinum gold chains, da 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 da, right. flooding money, throwing thousands. You don't even. Oh, you mean give like the that. chain around your neck right now? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in comedy, not sports. Hey, he got two. And I'm a funny motherfucker. <laughs> I see two chains. I, I got see rings. Chains and this that I didn't <laughs> I'm just being modest today. <laughs> All I'm saying is there is no way, shape, and form that a college athlete should be struggling to get toothpaste, deodorant, a sandwich, clothes. There should just it should not exist. This mm. issue should not happen. If you in some way, shape, or form are benefiting benefiting from an athlete yep. or student in general, yeah. that student in some way, shape, and form should be reimbursed, compensated, stifling. I don't care what Absolutely. the language is. Put something in their pocket Absolutely. so they ain't asking their friends to borrow peanut butter. Yo, an, no. a, an athlete being malnourished right. is insane. Crazy. Crazy. It's insane. Like, you wonder why the football team losing. They hungry, baby. <laughs> they, they, they got nothing. Some lettuce <laughs> on a burger. Immediately. My iron is low. My iron is oh low. My that's no, and I was training um, during the winter time, and so we, we had to be back, like, we had to be on campus right after Thanksgiving, and we had to stay usually through December, and, like, we have Christmas mm -hmm. break, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. My coach got a loaf of bread, some sandwich <sighs> meat, mustard, and some lettuce, and was like, we have sandwiches every single day. That's wild. That In is wild. Because the cafeteria now. was not open. Um, of course, we didn't have any money. And so you just like so then y'all should if they couldn't accommodate y'all then they should have let y'all go home. Nope, that's not should have let y'all go home. That's not how it that's works. That's insane. The cafeteria should have yeah. been open then. That's yeah, why I said yeah. the AD has a lot more power than you're giving them credit for. Um, they're the athletic director, and the school has to be on board for sure. But they and report directly to the president. So then, mm -hmm. like, they can make these things happen. It's it's insane to me that they're not in some. But it's it's so hard though because it's like we're assuming that these people have the power in their positions, but it they always do. comes down to who again they do who. Well, it comes down to who brings the, the most. Who, who is, it comes down to the president of the school. Absolutely. If you think for a second the the president doesn't have I mean, the AD doesn't have the president's ear, like mm -hmm. come on, man. I mean, I, considering that most of the money comes from the. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know. I don't know. I always, what always... funds a college besides tuition and sports? That's true. Donors go to the sports. Tuition comes from the students. Yeah. Let me know. Yeah. Because they get money from the NCAA for being in the NCAA. And I think conferences, too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, they, they do. They do. So if they um if they are... If they can compete in certain um even like tournaments, even March Madness, they always get a bonus that yeah. goes towards that university. Yeah. Of course, the coaches, you know, they'll get a bonus for entering in that and stuff I'm like so that. Glad I didn't do college sports. I'm sorry. <clears throat> it's a lot. It's a lot. Insane. I mean, the schedule is just in is is crazy. Marine Corps, I went look, shout out to Marine. You you United States Marine Corps, they fed us till we were fat. <laughs> 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 the only thing we didn't have was cool uniforms, and that's it. <laughs> running on green on green. <laughs> So, uh, uh, but y'all mo moving on though, moving on, yeah, yeah. um, I, uh, wanted to bring this conversation, well, bring this conversation about, uh, really Netflix. <laughs> that didn't, you didn't, you didn't do that, baby. That's just walk through, just walk through. That, <laughs> that woman is professional. I tell you, I love her. I love she her. Tried, <laughs> God bless you, she tried. But, <laughs> <laughs> if anything, she put her <laughs> right camera level. <laughs> but let's move on to the, the next one. <laughs> I, I saw this, and I'm, you know, is Netflix eventually going to be the last standing streaming service? Because I'm looking, I, I go to Netflix, I'm like, wait a minute, wasn't all these shows on uh, uh, Hulu now? Wasn't all these movies and shows on uh, HBO Max? And, and I also say that because Netflix is really starting to um, increase what uh like live like live in-depth mm -hmm. content so 
I don't know I if y'all heard about the. Um, answer for it. I don't know if you uh, heard about Mike Tyson. Oh, the, oh, hmm. the Mike Tyson fight with uh, Jake, Jake Paul. That will be that will be airing live yeah. uh, on Netflix. You know, Chris Rock had his special live when it debuted on there and stuff. So, so not to detour too <laughs> much, but th- I saw this going around. How much money would it take for you to stand in the ring with Tyson for two minutes? Ten million. That's it. Ten million. Oh, I need. I'm I pushing need, twenty-five to thirty at least. I was gonna say I need. At least 50. 50? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because this is 50, not... Which age? You Chris probably... Tyson. But, uh, yeah, exactly. And how do I no, got to fight will, him, too? Will, to, no, uh, you got to last. So if he knocks you down, nine count, you got to get back up. You got to last two minutes. Can I run? And like, start, like can I, I can voice? last two minutes. Oh, oh, I know the sound. Look. <laughs> okay, I know what I look like, <laughs> but as far as hand-to-hand combat, I have an extensive background. Okay, I can at least last two minutes against fifty-seven-year-old Tyson. Will I win? No, no, no. We no, no, no that's no. not even a question. No, we no. know. I don't even know how to box. Yeah. <laughs> that's all I, like. I don't know one rule of boxing besides punch. <laughs> I don't know how points are have calculated. You, have you seen his recent, as of last yes. year, yes. sparring it's scary. footage? It's yes. scary. It's scary. I've seen it. And I know I, can, I know I can stay breathing long enough to collect my check. That's why I say $10 million. I say $10 because as soon as the, the two minutes are up, like, so I <laughs> you, you understand, like, quality of life and all that thereafter? Right, 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 right. And okay. I'm confident that two and, minutes is easy. In 10 minutes, and 10 We're not mil going 10 enough. rounds, Cam. It, but but you know just, how just much, two minutes. Just you know minutes. how much the video I saw of him was two right, minutes right, long. Right, right, right. And that's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so guy, you got to remember, I'm a advanced second degree martial arts instructor for the United States Marine Corps. Okay. Right? Okay. I used to teach FBI, CIA, and uh, plenty of You going to go people. Bruce Lee on Mike Tyson, what you saying? I don't know how to box. That's my. That's why I say I won't win. So I'm be like, oh, I, don't even, I don't even think I can touch him. I know I'm gonna be alive though. Do you, do you, do you try? Do you try to hit him, or you just? No, no, no. <laughs> Are you not listening? <laughs> do not anger the bear. You what in the world? Stay alive for two minutes. What part of that involves striking? <laughs> Yo, get out of here. So, <laughs> babe, we talk. We talking about lasting in the ring for two minutes with Mike Tyson. How much would it take for you to box him? Well, for you, Layla Ali. Mm. All right. That's scary. I'm about to say, because Layla, 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 Layla will knock out a man at any time. <laughs> I'd rather what? fight today's Mike than now. <laughs> <laughs> I know that might sound crazy, but that woman is still. She's vicious. She's vicious. She's vicious. <laughs> like, how much money would you Layla would it take? Ali, two minutes. Two minutes in the ring. Mm. No, I mean, skill. I can't get hit in the face. That's my money maker. I can't do that. Um, well, how, how much? I mean, hey, this you can reconstruct your surgery because you got to tell her that. Right. <laughs> you, gotta tell <laughs> you can't hit this. Hi, Miss Ali. <laughs> Wait, Big fan. Right, right here. No. <laughs> well, she's having a good day. Right. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you something. Them body shots ain't, look, they ain't light either. Because, oh my God. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Maybe 50 more. That's, okay, that's so what you I and Cam at the same. That's what I said. I'm at 25, because 25 I might to 30. Need surgery. You will need surgery. Because exactly. <laughs> I know I'm going to need something got to get shifted right. back to where it was before. <laughs> you going to be on the ground like, just give me a second, just let me say it real quick. You got, <laughs> you got a 3D printer <laughs> win. I'll, I'll be looking up at y'all like, did I make it? <laughs> did, what am did I, I, what am I was like, I want to fight them all. I want to fight them all. I want to fight them all. Yeah. And then do I have to play fair? Like, do I have to box fair? It's, yes. 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 Oh, it's, it's straight. It's it's straight boxing. Why? You gotta it's, follow the rules. Why? 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 Like, I'm unexperienced. <laughs> I mean, you can throw me a you, you ask you for fifty million. You want to break the rules? Yeah. Okay. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> okay, you're a Gavin. <laughs> you're a Gavin. I see it now. <laughs> can you like see she had put some brass nuts in her gloves? Like, no. I mean, they're not going to do that. I mean, I was like, <laughs> like, taping the gloves. <laughs> hey, hey, she put some like some Wait, knockout sauce or something. She like. knocked out uh, Layla. How did? How did oh, she do that? Poison. <laughs> She poisoned her drinking water in the corner. Yeah, I, I can just, I can't imagine. I can just imagine to see if she air pulling out the gloves and pulling out a bottle and be like, You pay me 10 million. Come here, come here, come here. Tyson. Go to sleep, go to sleep. You pay me 10 million, I'll fight Tyson, make it entertainment, entertaining, and not die. You ain't going to be able to tell jokes. 
I, you not saying you keep moving the goal. Oh, you, said, you said make it entertaining. I thought you meant you were gonna use your natural gift. No, no, like, no, no, no. This motherfucker chasing me. <laughs> I mean, when I get hit, people are gonna be like, ooh, <laughs> entertaining. Like, <laughs> but the question: Do y'all think it's gonna be? Uh, I mean, because let's be honest, like Jake Paul is really it's all about advertising stuff. Yeah, it's never it's, and, it's a, and he's been. He's to me. He's a he's a good boxer, but he has fought people that are mostly mixed martial arts fighters that has yes. ha, 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 haven't that fought. Were hampered in what they could do. Yeah, because the last guy he fought yeah. was a uh, Anderson Silva, I think. Anderson Silva hasn't fought a boxing match. But in do you years. think an Anderson Silva fight would be easy? Even though it's an entertainment not match, that's a good us? question. That's a good question. Oh, not for me. You mean in respect to Jake? Yeah, that couldn't have been an easy. No, because he's still a pugilist. Like right. he's still trained to fight. So that's what I'm getting at. Yeah. So it's like the same way with. So I, I, I was an instructor, right? Mm -hmm. If you get a lieutenant who you know just joined the for, uh, just joined the the military, or whatever, and you're teaching him hand to hand combat. And he has limited experience in fighting. His punches will still hurt. Right. For like, sure. It still hurts. The For fight sure. still hurts. For sure. So Anderson Silver being out the game. Yeah. That hook still rings a bell, even though Jake won. I mean, it's it's, but it's, it's also it's, harder for him to get it off because he's out of practice. He's older, true, et, cetera, true, true. et cetera, And he's out of practice Jake from Paul mixed is, martial arts. Yeah. He, he was never known, even in a, as an MMA fight, as a as a punch. Yeah. He kicked. Yeah. He could have used yeah. any of his like feet Jake during Paul the was like 27 or something like 27 that. 27 cut <laughs> athletic. Both of them yeah. are very athletic. But, uh, but Mike? Mike uh, is still Mike, though. Mike is still Mike. Mike and he's is not even, scary. I was about to say, any crazy. I mean, Mike is, he's, he's back to normal oh, now. What he do to do the old dude on the airplane. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh. So oh close. My gosh. Why? So close and still able to deliver that same amount of power. Do you, do bro, you Mike reached from behind him and just said, Do you see the reaction of people when they're on his podcast and Mike? Gets a little hand of that <laughs> mic back, and they like they get like, oh no, Mike, you know we're joking, right? Yeah. <laughs> like I, I see, yeah, it's Mike Tyson. Yeah, like, I'd it's Mike Tyson. There with Mike. I definitely would. You, you didn't. Like, respect you didn't. It. You didn't. Oh, I thought you meant you would get disrespectful with him in person. I was about to say, you had the opportunity, no, no, no. but you won't. But you won't. But you I won't. Mike Tyson. I forgot. I absolutely did meet Mike Tyson. However, was he was he, was he like scary? In person, yeah. Actually, he's probably one of the. He's a very a gentleman. For I mean, sure. there's no way to actually explain it. For sure, it, it, there's a lot of people around him. They got these all these people who's bugging him for pictures and yanking him different directions. Like watching him is very stressful. Mm. But you know, as he was smoking and waving, he even said hi to us. Yeah. So. He's a very nice guy. And talk yeah. about representation. Like Mike had a bad pass, right? Mike yeah. had Matt, he had a For bad sure. pass. For when sure. I talk about comeback story of like the century, because mm -hmm. he has came back. He had like a one man show that was successful, telling Absolutely. his story. Now he's in the cannabis business making money, Absolutely. making crazy money. And Mike then he got a no success. Hit the start. Now, granted, there was a lot of people that so for the audience who don't know what we're talking about when I met Mike Tyson, we're talking about the Vegas exp uh, exposition. Uh, it was everyone who was involved in the cannabis industry at the time uh, was there. So mm -hmm. you had like Snoop Dogg and wow, all these people wow. who have some type of rap or cannabis product or yeah. supporting, you know, apparatus. <laughs> they were there. And Mike Tyson has these wraps mm -hmm. and uh, filters and cones and different stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And so when he was there, um, he still looks like Mike Tyson. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Mm -hmm. yeah. But he's kind. He's courteous. A gentleman. Yeah. I mean, I have no bad words for the actual Mike Tyson. For sure. But seeing him, I am confident that 10 million would get me in the ring easy. I've seen the videos, man. I, I hear you. Yeah, you yeah, have yeah. a different <laughs> yeah, yeah, fighting yeah, yeah, background yeah, yeah. than me. So I got to. It's like right. it's Push like maybe like five. <laughs> <laughs> I got retired. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this, after this, this match, this, I can't work yeah, anymore. Like, <laughs> like hybrid productions is done. Uh, like, I, I should have asked I for will, more money. I will yeah. run it from the yeah. back office. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the muscles is all still there. The dude is still. Yeah, that's, scary. Mike. that's scary. And see, the last fight Mike did was an exhibition with uh, Roy, Roy Jones. Yeah, and Roy Jones looked. Awful. And there was a lot of like they scaled. It was like one. There's no winner, mm -hmm. no knockouts. He can't hit Roy like. Well, they probably said each other, mm -hmm. but he couldn't like punch through. Like there was so. Many, I don't know if they're doing the same thing for this fight, mm -hmm. but they 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 put so if many stipulations Paul hits on it. 
Tyson for real. He's going to click back he's in. Going he needs to. Click. He needs to. I, think, I can't see he's it not happening. I can't see it not I'm a, happening. I'm a, the sad thing is, shout out to Roy, uh, 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 Roy, jo- Roy Jones Jr. No. Uh, Roy, uh, was it? That he fought? Yeah, yeah Roy Jones well, Jr. Okay. Yeah. So, um, the, the sad thing is, if y'all hear Roy talking right now, Roy been in the game for a long time. Oh, like, yeah, he, for sure. Just like, um, um, uh, oh, God, um. Hopkins, I think. Uh, it's just a lot of those fighters that had, you know, had long careers that were still fighting to the, like, 50s, man. It's like, man, you got you got to take a break. Because I know Roy was still fighting professionally for, you know, for quite some time. Until... Roy was always sharp, though. He was, but, I mean. Well, Roy, Roy, as of late, he's not hit. anymore. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I just, he well, when I saw, when I saw. later, like, his last three or four fights. Yeah, it's yeah. like, in their prime, they're great. And then the older they get, it's like, okay, you start seeing, it's time to go. Because even, like, Roy used to be cut up. Roy, like. I, I eat a, you you know, pe- a chicken, a piece so of chicken from time times to your brain can get shook before it's, it's, you it's, gotta man. call it. There's gonna be a time where they stop boxing. Like it's not gonna be a thing anymore. Mm. I mm. Can see but I feel the same way about the NFL. Yeah. I am convinced. I don't, I don't you think, think you so. Think, you don't think you it's think ever think going to stop? Combat no. sports is going to stop. Yeah, absolutely. but no. but look at the money they're making. They're, they're making oh, too much money because if for one MMA. They do pay per view fights overseas in Dubai and stuff. Y'all the slap, the slap is making money. I'm no, sorry, because y'all it's all about the wrist form. If I make you sign, or not make you, but if you sign a wrist form, then you inherit the wrist, and you take on that responsibility, and I pay you, and we have a contract, then yeah, it's not going to stop. Telling you, you can get you can get Because pro- you can't sue me. Y'all are underestimating a bored, suburban, white mom. I'm sorry. I know that sounds crazy, but you are underestimating the power of a suburban, yeah. white mother. Yeah. Please they are going. Well, no, Please. he makes a point because there's a group, and I, I'm forgetting the the. Uh, there, we'll say I'm getting into politics, but there's a group called Liberties for Mom, and Liberties for Mom have been going example, around all it. school boards banning books that have explicit stuff for students. So they have been really winning, even though they honestly they're more conservative, and people always try to counter and be like, "Wait a minute!" But you're saying you teach it. I mean, isn't it just all for like the parenting? Like, hey. You're not allowed to wear, uh, Look, read this book. I'm so. not saying five years from now. I'm not even saying 10 years from now. But I know. And, like, football is going to change. Like, these mm-hmm. these things where there's assumed risk and people are actually, like, you you mentioned shots to the head. Like, a sport where you basically yield when you take too much bodily damage. Well, they try. They, it's not They tried to do it in but the 90s just, because. Like, you know, they just um, started the sport, like, the slapping competition. Making right, money, right. Mm-hmm. which is honestly, it makes me think of the movie Django, the movie, the fighting scene in Django. Because really mm-hmm. sad, it's a bunch of rich people watching these guys that had hard times get slapped. And they're like, I'm talking about that. So the, I mean, it's the, the worst thing. Aftermath of these competitions, it's scary. It's so like scary. Faces melting. I'm talking. Off. I'm talking. It's only a matter of time. Yeah. It's only a matter of time. And just like you said, it probably won't be no five, ten. Like, we being realistic, it yeah. might not even be in our lifetime. Maybe not. Where some of these combative sports are, but it's mm-hmm. going. I, I, I Honestly, I, I would say so. I think it's going to keep growing. I think it's going to grow. Y'all, I think it's going to grow. notice they keep modifying football, right? They keep yeah. getting softer like, and softer and softer. But, but, uh, but they do, and that's, but I mean, that's uh, I don't know. So that's it's, football. It's, I mean, you, you UFC is going to be flag football in some way, shape, and form in the future. CTE. Oh, it's a it's a real, it's a real like, thing. All right, now you can't like you. There's not but so, and you can't play football at high speeds and not hurt somebody. But I just it's think I possible. mean you got then I'm, it's going to be hard to end a sport like rugby, like MMA, like um, boxing. I just I don't see those sports because but don't rugby not making no money. We're talking about boxing. That's <laughs> it's crazy. not. It's not. Rugby, rugby is very popular. It's very, popular it's very overseas. Overseas. I'm about to say, and it's they Olympic sport. It and it's an Olympic sport too. Well, we're talking. Yeah. We're talking professional boxing. We're talking okay. MMA. And we're talking football. That like those right, are the right, sports right. we're talking about. Worldwide, like, those are the sports that are bringing. I feel in like money. boxing is going to die first. Mm. Yeah, because it's already dying because it's not enough in a way. And the only yeah. the only matches they're making money now are yeah. entertainment matches yeah. like yeah. the Jake yeah. Paul, Absolutely like right. the YouTube Absolutely fighters, right. Absolutely. like Blueface and Chris Brown. Cele- Absolutely. Celebrity boxing matches. Celebrity yeah. boxing matches. Those are the things that make money now, and it's just mm-hmm. because of the people whose name. But eventually, yep. as much as people may disagree with us, boxing is going to die first. Yeah. Once that happens, that's the domino. Yeah. And then now. Because MMA is right after that. Yeah, right. Right after that. I don't know, man. MMA is just so. Because for one, they already originate. Out of Vegas, where like all that stuff is legal, right? So it's not even a legality thing. Yeah, it ain't about. 
But it's, with MMA, though, they tried, models, but man, I'm, I'm saying, telling you. look, <laughs> there were politicians that tried to ban MMA when it first started, like, in the late, late, late 90s, right? I'm, I'm, yeah. And I, that was back when they did bare knuckle stuff. I'm not even talking about, like, the politicians stepping in. I'm just saying, like, again, we... we, the we well, they're the ones that's going to create yeah. the laws so it will be, be prevented. That's I don't I'm think it's going to die. Because as long as that money is involved... They get. It. I'm, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm looking at the matter of fact. They got a the they, husband and wife agreed. They got a man. I know. I know. I know. That's <laughs> that's new. That's like, new. That's the first. Talk to a but they talk about money. That's what I said. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> that's that thing that brings them together. <laughs> when a person Shout out to Johnny Manziel. is Shout out to Johnny Manziel. for money, like for example, if you if we're boxing or if you want to box Mike Tyson, and he says box me in the ring i'll give you 10 million you're willing to do that yeah mm -hmm. okay it's the same thing with you know these sports right now with football if i give you a contract for 270 million to play for five years you're gonna do it because you want the money so as long as that money is involved people are gonna do it and then it's gonna be hard to stop those fighters and be like man look this is what because they you always gotta look at their background stories too with this, a lot of these people mm -hmm. without ufc without fighting man they would have been i mean kimbo slice I'm just saying, like, Kimbo wasn't a great fighter a in the That's ring. That's a hell of a tale, though. Kimbo but Slice went from a bum back, in the streets. Bum to backyard fighter. To yeah. being able to select him in video games. Yeah. Facts. So I'm just I'm just saying it's, it's so hard. what I can hard. see is them putting a time limit on people. Oh. So that's what I can see. That, I, I feel like that'll be the slippery first slope. I feel like that'll be the first stop. definition of a slippery slope. Now, I he feel went like... from leather helmets to these <laughs> constructive airbag helmets to now playing less time to now hitting slower uh uh certain people positions can't get hit at all well, and the yeah. worst thing the worst thing in the nfl i know uh i i, I don't know how true it is but <laughs> it was talks that they were now going to be having starting to have 18 game regular season uh regular seasons oh. so 18 games straight which i think is insane because at first i want to say it might have been like 14 and they went up to 16 and now it's um now Wait, it's is this including postseason <laughs> This no. is include. This was not, not including post. post. Yeah, this is not including Ooh, post. But they, but they, a lot of impact. But they shot back on preseason though. Yes. Yeah. Which I mean, which preseason normally was like four games. Yeah. Uh, and I think what are they doing? Maybe two now two or something. Now, yeah. But eighteen games in a regular season for. I mean, these guys now they're gonna start playing games twice in one week, which is crazy. I mean, Sunday, Thursday, or maybe or maybe still gonna... playing the same amount of games. Like if you cut the preseason, like if you cut it by two games, but you add two games to the, the play time season. is different though. So I get where uh -huh. your angle is going, but like so preseason games, your starters are only going to play yeah. one quarter. Maybe two quarter. Sit down during the second, Maybe play the third, and then sit down again. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's it's it's, yeah. it's the audition process in preseason. Once regular right, season yeah. start is back to going preseason, like and the first two games is who you trying to find out to replace your and see they already because they still trying to get make roster cuts at mm -hmm. that point. So, and it's yeah. and it's so scary because again. I'm a you know big heavy like you mentioned Cam about CTE because it is a serious thing. We we hear about young former players dying all the time or getting involved in something at the random thing. But honestly, that's mm -hmm. side effects from CTE when they start doing uh, uh I don't know uh, threatening or beating up their spouse. Oh, that's that's CTE. That's not them. That's their their brain because that impact. Um, we talk about uh, uh uh world wrestler entertainment. All these former wrestlers dying at young ages. I mean, 61 younger than that. It's just. It's a lot, but I just and those blows are controlled for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. Yeah, for the most part. Uh, but just... we, my bad, we derailed from your original Netflix thing. Um, <laughs> oh, that's what we were talking about. Yeah. <laughs> so, so as he mentioned Mike Tyson, Mike it Tyson, went. it was it, we thought it about went. dying. Yeah. That, yeah. Is <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. How powerful Mike Tyson did. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. talk about Mike, Mike Tyson. Yeah. We easily switched the subject to the the streaming. Yeah. To are we gonna live? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Twenty so ten mil, fifty. I don't think you gave I a said number. Twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. Yeah. Yeah. No less than fifty mil. Right. So no less than 50 mil. his original point though was the other streaming sites. Yeah. Netflix being the last, the basically the last streaming site I say standing. No. I don't think so. I say okay. no. Because okay. the and you go to rock real quick, but I I said like I made the point of a lot of the content revolves like mm -hmm. jamie yeah. uh jamie fox show was on something and it ended up on netflix mm -hmm. um the office and seinfeld were on netflix or whatever and they pop somewhere else like i think they're making deals with the streaming um you, sites and then each other just yeah. around, so, so just yeah. to add yeah. more cold to his point each of these own individual streaming sites have what you call uh originals mm -hmm. yes yeah 
HBO Max has original HBO Max series. Mm -hmm. uh, um, who do I watch? Paramount has original Paramount mm -hmm. series. Prime. Mm -hmm. Prime. Amazon Prime, who I I have projects who you, you can stream on. Yeah. All have original series. As yep. long as they have their own production series, yep. as long as they have their own production studios, mm -hmm. they're going to always be golden. Now, will Netflix be the proverbial largest? The king. Absolutely. For they sure. already they already raising their prices, For but sure. you see why. I think Amazon can come in. I think, think Amazon... So? Amazon um let me see amazon prime maybe Hulu, max oh yeah Hulu. and hbo max yeah hbo max their um limited series just max now because yeah, they just combined. Max. oh that's right just max. I'm yeah. sorry. so max now with their series yeah. are doing crazy yeah. numbers and then with the deal that they make with 50 cent and like-minded producers they're going to be good and on top they of that have all that previous hbo like we're talking Sopranos. We're Come talking on. The Wire. We're talking all those things so that much right. went crazy on HBO. And then on top yeah. of that, sometimes they play like films that are in theaters, if I'm not mistaken. Because mm -hmm. I mean, you have like Warner Brothers, and all of them are now. Uh, in... And so does um, Prime. So Amazon yeah. Prime oh, pays okay. for exclusivity. Uh, exclusive. What is it's, going it's, on with exclu that word? Ex exclusive. I exclusivity. swear I know English. Exclu exclusivity. <laughs> yeah, that was a hard but one. But yeah, to, so yeah. Amazon, Jeff Nim, they pay for. Uh, movie release rights. But can we just talk about the fact that Netflix and this they've been doing it for a year uh, for a few years now. They're putting out movies with real movie budgets. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. now that it's I insane. don't know how they do for it. It's insane. Free, not for free, but for free. Right. Like like, like three hundred million plus. Talking, <laughs> like the first one, I think, was the one with Mil Will Smith. Was it Will Smith? It was like Bright or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I remember yeah. it was the big thing about that. They I were like, that, movie, that was right. not good. You I didn't, didn't like it. Like it? Yeah. Oh wait, well, hold on, hold on. I got hold on. A magic wand. <laughs> it was like a nuclear bomb. <laughs> I hate you. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that was insane. <laughs> they were treating magic wand like it was the most deadliest thing on the planet. If man, I wish y'all were here that are watching right now. But <laughs> the face expression when like Cam and Sarah was like, "Oh, wasn't it good?" She was like, "I didn't no. like it." It sucks. I didn't like it. <laughs> no. Why do you like it? I can't remember, but I know. I, I like the movie. She's for such her. a Gavin. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw like twenty minutes of it. It was it was terrible. It was terrible. I, honestly, I, I'm gonna say I saw like ten minutes and I never fin I never finished watching. There it, was, there was like the reason I like it because it was real like social societal. In, mm -hmm. it, it was it was showing what was like, happening going going on in real absolutely. life exactly. into it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, that's why I, I appreciated the movie because it was deeper than the visuals. Right. But, but yeah. to continue with the point, yeah. you got movies like that. You got Day Shift. You got mm. uh, stars who just like the movie I was uh, the the what was it Damsel, mm -hmm. the girl from yes. Stranger Things. Yes. She yes. has yes. her own role on the, on the Netflix out. They released like last night or the night before. Yeah, these movie roles they're powerful. Yeah, I mean, look at look at Amazon bringing back uh, Eddie Murphy for like what two? Well, yeah, more than one mm -hmm. film because he had the uh, the Coming to America one, the right. sequel. Then he had the uh, Christmas one. I mean, he's starting to have a lot. Well, now he's starting to do more projects. I think the Beverly Hills Cop might be going on Netflix. It's definitely going to a. It's not it's going not, to movies. Y'all are excluding. Y'all are excluding places like Bollywood, mm. oh, Chinese, mm. French. Indonesian international lines in Netflix to your point where it's just like brrr, and they have like 30 of them and in it's, a so, row. it's, it's so funny because like I'll speak with friends they're like hey I'm watching this show it's from South Africa but it's dope y'all know how hard it is to find a movie on Netflix that's just 100% English <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no, uh, no. you be watching a movie that's like from some random place in Africa and they all got white voiceovers <laughs> When you scroll down far enough, it is It is hilarious. Different. It, it is, is hilarious. Different. Yeah. That is, man, that is interesting. That is interesting. But look, y'all, it's about that time. And we're going to yeah. come to a close. But yes, again, one, another great conversation. I want to thank the lovely Mrs. Gavin hey. for making a great experience. Yep, you're always invited, you know, unannounced. Um, but um, I'm going to just, just, just pull you on the side. But, um, but no, no, had, a, had an awesome time. Y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the conversation here in your city. Please be sure to tune into our weekly radio show in your city, which airs every Sundays at 12 p.m. on WNSB Hot 91.1 FM, the Solar VA. So look, if you're not in Hampton Bros and you can't find us on that radio dial, you can download the app. The WSB app is free. And then also listen to us on podcast platform, wherever you get your podcast, Apple, Stitcher, Breaker, 
uh, what else? Spotify, all the all iHeart, everything. Tune into In Your City and uh, yeah. Full package final recording. Yes, Lord. You should maybe be hearing this by that time. If you're not, then you missed it. But uh, March 17th, I believe. Thank you. It was, yeah. it was dope. It was a great experience. But uh, boy, are we tired. Wow. <laughs> we are tired. Yeah. <laughs> I, am, I don't think they understand how much energy a I lot. give them. Episodes. Ooh, you, do. <laughs> you do. All of us. You do. But that's why it's so dope. To be honest with you, that's yeah. why I fully believe it's coming out so dope because going hard. everybody that's a part of it, like we're giving it our all. We're going hard. And um, look, listeners, viewers yeah. right now, hey, go to in, uh, not in your, uh, well, in your city too, as well. Our smooth club media on IG, but also uh, the full package, uh, full package contest. I think the full package contest VA, VA, the full package Instagram. contest VA. Please, please, please. I'm telling you, this show is going to be dope. Um, I'm excited, man. I'm excited, but yeah. I'm tired too. It's, <laughs> it's about a time for a day. Right, right, right. It's about a time. And my work is just beginning. And, <laughs> but look, uh, yeah, we out. We out, y'all. Hey. Deuces. Ooh, I got right. so bad. The, 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 I got peak.